I did it. <laughs> I handcuffed myself to Anderson Cooper. I have been planning this for weeks. Actually, don't do this. It's really dumb. You guys, I did it! <laughs> and I don't have the key at all! <laughs> So how long are we on George for? <laughs> oh, man. This is truly my worst nightmare. <laughs> We're together forever. <laughs> if I can't have you, no one can. Only moments ago, we're watching all of this very, very closely. I want to show our viewers what happened just moments ago. Anderson Cooper and Arwa Damon are on the scenes. But watch this videotape uh, as we saw what was unfolding. Watch this. Wow. Uh, we were not hearing the sound yet because we weren't tracking the audio uh, as these explosions rock. You're going to hear the sound in a few seconds, but just watch this videotape. That's when all hell broke loose. People started throwing punches, pushing us around, screaming at us. We immediately decided to turn around and try to get to a safe location. Several Egyptian men helped us, but still the crowd followed, throwing punches. That man there had a knife in his hand. kept joining in trying to punch us. We only had about a block left to go when another guy came up and punched me in the head. So I'm going to put these earphones in and they're going to try to do a, a series of tests. Okay, so I'm now hearing sort of whispers and, and voices in my head and um, the first test is uh, on some number puzzles. You suck, and they know it. Can't you get this right? It's hard to concentrate when, if it's like music or something constant, it's easy, but people talking to you is very difficult. So I'm going to try to make a boat out of origami following these instructions. Hey, it'll be okay. I can't do this. Hand down. Keep your eyes down. Just do it, Just do it. Just do it. Filthy mind. Leave it alone. It's also frustrating because they're telling me I can't do it, and uh, I so I didn't do a very good job with the boat. It's really, it's incredibly distracting on the street to have somebody talk in your head, and, and it makes you feel completely isolated from everyone else around you, and you don't want to engage in conversation with other people. You kind of find yourself wanting to engage in conversation with a voice in your head. Uh, I was in a place that used to be rice fields, but you couldn't tell it was rice fields. It's now just completely a debris field. And the debris is about 10 feet thick at the very least. So there's really no telling who or, or how many people uh, may be trapped or dead uh, underneath the debris uh, encased in, in the mud and, and, and the, the wood and the concrete and the metal that's, that, that forms this 10-foot layer there. 
talked to hospital uh, ambulance crews who said uh, as many as 10 uh, uh, people were killed, though there is one report now saying 11 uh, people were killed in, in that blast. But we know 10 members of one family. Also, two media centers uh, built. Whoa. Well, that was a rather large explosion. Yeah. Um, that occurred, just look out here. Um, I can't actually see where the impact that was. Uh, it's actually set off a number of car alarms, um, but that was probably the largest explosion that we've heard uh, just in the past, um, really in the past hour. What, what do I need to know before, before going in? Well, we believe you're safe. <laughs> I'll let you know if there's a croc if I see it first. The Basically, sign for it's crocodile is that. It's, that. it's, it's the, the international sign for crocodile. Yeah, it's sign for cro well, it's our sign for okay, crocodile. Okay, so Fred does this. I didn't learn that in scuba school. <laughs> they didn't teach that. Okay. <laughs> Brad signals that he sees a crocodile. At first, I can't see anything. But then, out of the darkness, on the floor of the cave, just as Brad warned, I see that gleaming row of white teeth. It's amazing how close the crocodile is. You can't tell if it's watching you or not. Suddenly, the crocodile backs away. It's not taking its eyes off me. I have no idea what it's going to do. 